So far we have covered a lot of functionalities in the series. In this lecture, I'm going to show you one additional functionality which is very essential to any registration and login system. This is basically to ensure that the email address that is being used to sign up is a valid email address. So if we were to go back to our database, so in our database table, you see that we just have demo at example.com. We have demo2 at example.com, demo3, and a few valid email addresses here. So uh, all these are not valid email addresses. So for example, if we were to send email to demo at example.com, it's going to bounce back. So we're going to ensure that users activate the account after registration by logging into their valid email address and clicking on a link that we will send to them. In order to achieve this functionality, we are going to be using Madri API and PHP mailer class to send emails from our local computer. The first thing that we need to do is to enable some extension in our server. So I'm using one server. I'll go over to the PHP module and look for PHP extensions. So there will be three that you need to enable here. The first one will be PHP open SSL. We need to have this enabled. We need to have PHP SMTP and also we need to have PHP socket enabled. So if in your server this is not checked, you just go ahead and check it. Then uh, ensure that these three are checked. PHP open SSL, PHP SMTP and PHP sockets. So once you have checked all this, you just need to restart your server. Next, we're going to sign up for Madril account. So you just simply navigate to the URL here. So when you get here, if you don't have an account yet, you click on sign up for Madril. So I already have an account, so I won't be going through all this again. Simple, put your email address, your password. I agree to Madril terms and click on get started. So I'm just going to log in now. Once you log in, you're going to see the dashboard. We're going to go over to the settings and here we're just going to create our API key. So you click on new API key, enter a description, say test key, and then click on create. If you were going to use this just for testing purpose, you could uh, check this boss so that uh, the emails will not be sent out actually to the users. It will just be for testing purposes. You'll be able to see that the emails were actually sent and uh, they were delivered, but uh, it won't be sent to the recipient. So we're going to create an actual key. So you click on create API key. And you can see here they have the toggle on and off button. So if I was going to off this, I just toggle off. I was going to edit it. I click on edit and I can also delete this API key here. In short, I'm going to delete it because I already have my API key set up for this lecture. Okay, next we're going to take note of all the credentials here. We will come back to this. Our host is going to be smtp.madriapi.com. The port is 587. Username is going to be the email address that you use to register. And the SMTP password is going to be any valid API key, which is the one that we uh, created just now. So you're going to copy this key and use as our SMTP password. Now that we have created our Madri API key, uh, the next thing we're going to do is to actually download the PHP uh, mailer class. So there are a couple of ways you could get these files. Uh, for example, you could actually just go to GitHub, look for it at GitHub, PHP mailer, PHP mailer GitHub. So you could uh, download the file from PHP uh, mailer. And if you're using Composer, you can actually read more about this. But uh, to make things easier, I've actually downloaded the files that we need. We actually need two files from here. And the files will be available in the download section of this lecture. You can uh, download the file from there instead of uh, going through all this process. Now we'll go over to our code editor and go to our resource folder. You can see that I've added some files here. I've added class 
dot php mela dot php so this is one of the class that's been written for us all this function a lot of functionalities here that we don't actually care about for now because we don't need to know about all these to use the class next we have the class dot smtp dot php uh, so these are the two essential files that you need they will be available uh, in the download section of this lecture and also i have added one other file which is saint dash email dot php so this is the file that we're going to use to set up our php mailer in line two we are requiring our php mailer class in line four we are creating an instance of the php mailer class in line five and six we are setting our mail to use smtp while in line seven we are setting authentication to true that means we need to provide login information in line eight we're going to provide our host information this will be smtp.madriapi.com you can actually see this when you go back to see here this is the host smtp.madriapi.com the port is 587 then, uh, as I said before, the SMTP username will be your email address that you use to sign up for Madri. And the password is going to be the key that uh, we've created here. All right, so this is the port number. This is the username. And uh, this is the key that I've created. In line 15, we are setting our email format to be equal to HTML. This means that we can actually use HTML formatting in the body of our email. So in line 19, we are specifying the email that will be displayed as the from. When the registered user receives the email, it is going to appear as no iPhone reply at ictdesignup.com. This is going to be the sender. The name of the sender is going to be user authentication. This is basically all we need to do here to set up our major API and uh, just go through this again. We have included our class.php mailer.php, class.sntp.php, and uh, send me. So these are the three files that we have uh, included.